Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to take a text file and put it inside of a list box in Visual Basic. I've already added it in a list box and a button inside Visual Basic. I changed the uh, text inside the form and the icon. Alright, we're going to go ahead and open up the form and we're going to type in at the very top, not at the very, very top, but midway top, under form 1. Alright, we're going to type in Dimension Streamer as IO dot screen reader. There we go. You need that for this to work or it won't read the stream. Alright, under button 1, you need to go ahead and add in streamer equals IO dot file dot open text. And then you want to put it in the directory of the file. Mine's going to be a C colon slash user slash Richard slash desktop slash sample dot text. Alright. You can also just do dupe, dupe dot text, and it will just open up dupe dot text, whatever inside your directory that you're going to publish this to. So if you publish this and there's a file inside of the location where this is located, it will open up dupe dot text, and if it doesn't exist, your program will probably just crash. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in c colon slash user slash Richard slash desktop slash sample dot text. Alright. And then you want to go ahead and add in another dimension. This my string is going to come handy in the next um, code. Streamer that I read to the end. Yeah. Read. All right, and then this is where my string is. Here we can also go into I forgot about this. Visual Basic New Line. If you add that in, it'll take up. It'll well. We're gonna go ahead and do it without it first, and then we're just gonna go ahead and put in the next one, which is gonna be where my string comes in handy. All right, we're gonna go list box, whichever your list box name is. One dot item dot add range and then you want to go my string and then it's going to use the my string which is streamer dot read to end split and to go ahead and place it inside the, the uh, list box and after we have this it should go it should look something like this but instead of it being like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be one space two space three space four space five space six space seven. All right, we're gonna close it without saving. We're gonna go ahead and open up the basic, and yeah, we're gonna test it. And as I predicted, it would do. It will skip a line, skip a line, skip a line, skip a line, but it still came up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if that's the way you want it, good for you. You can leave it like that. Alright, for other people that don't want it like that, you can go ahead and put in the sense of loads. Your basic new line. And then after you do that, it should be normal. You'll have a normal response. That one fucked up. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, it's not spaced out or anything with normal. And if you want it to pile up, you can leave it the way it is, or you can edit it like I'm going to. Right now, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It just keeps adding to the list, same as whenever it didn't have Visual Basic new on it. So if you, either way, which other codes you want, you go ahead and add in. Only if you don't want it to. And then you want to go list box one dot 
item dot um, clear, and then that goes ahead and makes sure doesn't already have text, and then this one finds location of of the text. And then this one um, reads the text file. This one adds text to list box. Alright, there you go. I have to find every single one of the lines, you have no problem. Alright, this one... <laughs> I'm sorry, but it makes... Screamer. Alright, there we go. 